From whatever place in the universe that you tuned on to the Life Signatures Radio, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to continue talking about living a strategic life. It's some, such a, a powerful series that we did start a couple of days back. So that's three or four days back. This podcast is going to be about always about purpose, productivity, and resilience. I will always iterate on the messages, on the series, on everything that I share around those three things. Either they're them directly or they're messages that are related to that. And if it's making sense to you, please do share it with as many people as you can. And if you want to donate, please click on the show notes. There is a link for you to donate. We're going to continue talking about living a strategic life. We started talking about this and we've laid quite a good groundwork and framework for us to continue. So today we go deeper. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. We did talk about this in the episodes that have passed, and we say that short-termism, as in living our lives without a strategic plan of sorts, that is short-termism, is the most automatic thing that you can ever you can ever do. You don't even need to think that you're being short-termist. But to be strategic, you've got to have some intentionality. You've got to have some direction. You've got to have some purpose. I mean, you've got to do it. You've got to actively engage yourself in doing it. Today, I was going through social media, specifically on LinkedIn. I don't know if LinkedIn qualifies for that. I came across a very interesting quote by somebody. And this is what she said. She was quoting, I think, uh, Tiny Buddha or something like that. Okay, it's tinybuddha.com. That's where the quote came from. But this, this is what they say. They say, Western cultures believe we must be alive for a purpose to work to make money. Okay, first of all, I don't think that's that's true. Anyway, she continues. Some indigenous cultures believe we are alive just as nature is alive to be here, to be beautiful and strange. We don't need to achieve anything to be valid in our humanness. You guy. It sounds so esoteric. It sounds so quote unquote wise. But the last part of saying that human beings don't need to achieve anything to be valid in our humanness. Oh, we are not animals. We are not just nature. We are the crown of nature. That makes us a bit different from nature itself. Nature was created for us. That's why we were created last. We didn't evolve at the same time with nature. Nature was first and then we were placed here. Why? Because we were the crown of creation. It's basically like the house is not as important as the owner of the house or the builder of the house or the resident of the house. The house was built for the resident, not the resident and the house being on the same plane. Therefore, if that is the case, then our humanity, our humanness, is about making sure that we utilize this nature and ourselves and our relationships to the best possible outcome. Because if we just lived as these people are suggesting, what are they saying? That 
we are alive just as nature is alive to be here to be beautiful and strange we don't need to achieve anything they are saying that we don't need to achieve anything and i know where they're coming from probably saying that life is is not about comp- competing and all that stuff but we're not talking about competition we're talking about being alive as humans the very nature of us as humans is that we cannot settle until we've done something constructive we don't just we're not just there where are we going to eat from how are we going to shelter ourselves how are we going to progress there is a mandate and there is a mission on the human and therefore we've got to be strategic in our approach to life i know that debate can rage and rage and rage but i don't want to go there at the moment in time so i'm just going to leave it at that but what to what to what we want to do is to answer some questions on what does it look like what does it look like to be strategic in our existence what does it mean actually to live strategically because we've got to understand that it can just be i'm saying we just got to be strategic but i'm not telling you how does that look like and how are we going to do it well luckily for us the answers are not way out there the answers are not like hidden they are not secrets these are things we know like i said in the in the podcast yesterday i have discussed some of these things scattered around very many series and episodes around the podcast but i've never i didn't like package them in this format that these are leading into a strategic existence what is our strategic existence how does it look like how do we know that we are being strategic how do i know at some point in time that my existence is strategic there are different things even though you might not be thinking that you're being strategic but probably as i mentioned some of these things in the episodes that are going to follow setting today you might reconcile yourself to the fact that oh maybe i am being strategic a little bit the first thing that i'm going to talk about today is simple and straightforward and it's the crux the heartbeat of this podcast to know that you're living a strategic life number one, you are living with purpose now i've got to unpackage and unpack that for us to understand first of all i do believe that all of us are people of purpose but it doesn't stop there after being people of purpose we've got to discover what it is number one. And then we've got to own what it is, number two. And then we've got to deploy what it is, number three. And then we've got to release what it is. In other words, we've got to pass on the baton to other people. So it's a, it's a continuum, it's a process. The idea of living with purpose is a process. Where does it, that, does it start from? It starts before we were created. We were functioned, we were fashioned in a particular way so that we can be able to function on purpose that's why some of you are interested in politics and I couldn't give a hoot that's why some of us are interested in leadership and we are forced to be interested in politics <laughs> that's why some of you are interested in animals and I don't care about animals unless they are on my plate okay i know some people will take that the wrong way some of you care about the climate climate change some of you you care about other human beings and their justice and fairness and being treated well some of you care about people living outside of poverty you see that is how you were created you were packaged to operate that way in other words to be optimal in your operation in life in your existence in life you revert back to what matters to you what matters to you for the most part sometimes you don't find it here you came loaded with it it's just exemplified here i mean it's rubbed off here it's made alive here so to live a life of purpose you've got to understand that it is predating you purpose predates me i cannot believe that i cannot come to a place where i reconcile myself to the fact that i was created without purpose it doesn't make sense anyone who believe you're created if you believe you're created you've got to believe together with me that your purpose was created before you you were created for something you cannot convince me that god in his almightiness put us here just for just 
It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up as we are human beings. So at the heart of a strategic life is a clear sense of purpose. People who live strategically know what they want to achieve in the long run. And we do this by asking. And life, by the way, will send us to the drawing board all the time. When we face a setback, a shortfall, a failure, you know, some crisis in life, it is one of those megaphones like uh, C.S. Lewis said. It's, a mega, it's God's megaphone. Pain is God's megaphone. Forcing us to ask ourselves a question. Why am I here? What am I doing here in the first place? Once we found out what we're here, we're going to find out there's a process I've talked about in my book, Discover Your Purpose, Eight Milestones on Your Journey of Purpose. There's a process to it. One of the, those processes is just looking at you. What, what do you like? What comes naturally to you? What are you passionate about? What is your makeup? What, what are the things? What is your ability? What, what can you do? See, what can you do? And, and just lean into those, those those particular things. And all that, all the while, you're balancing your living that is paying bills with this. People who have purpose have identified their values, their passions, their aspirations, and then they structure their lives around all these principles. We don't just live to pay bills. We, at, at some point in time, we, we ask ourselves, you know, I, I really, I really... It, it, it just all it keeps coming back to me to speak to men for some reason i'm just interested in equipping men see that's purpose talking to you now you 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 you'll do yourself a great disservice if you don't deploy that which has come to your heart and it means to you and all you're doing all your life is what all you're doing is to hustle to pay this that's why i was very cross some years back maybe two or three years back with William Ruto, the president of the Republic of Kenya, who was christening the whole country as a hustler country. See, hustling is devoid of purpose at at some point in time. And by the way, there is no country that wants to hustle forever. So you cannot call your country hustler country. In fact, there is no individual who who, who will tell you that I want to hustle all all the days of my life. No. No, people want to People want to be engaged in something constructive. People want to transform. People want a break. A break that they can look back and say, I did that. I did that project. I was involved in that particular project. We were able to transform our world. That is what strategic life and strategic living is all about. It starts from purpose. This deep sense of purpose serves as a guiding compass. It's like a, a beacon, a, a beacon ahead. It's a, it, it helps us to make our decisions and choose the path that we're going to align ourselves with in the long run. And we set goals that are related. I'm going to talk about goals in the next episode. But these goals, you see, goal setting. Oh Lord, have mercy! I'm already talking about goal setting. Goal setting is not just about setting goals. It starts from what is our purpose in life. See, purposeful, purposeful living leads to a more fulfilling life because it adds meaning to our everyday interactions, our everyday actions, our everyday appearance on life. And each step we take, whether it's a big step, whether it's a small step, it becomes part of a larger part. It's a journey. Purpose is a journey. It's not an event. And rather than being carried along by external forces, we are moved by the intrinsic inside force. A strategic individual takes control of their destiny. There's such a thing as a destiny. But this destiny is not on autopilot. We've got to take charge of it. And the sure way, the sure path of taking charge of our destiny is to discover, to own, to deploy, and to release our purpose on the face of the earth. Consistently working towards that goal and and that it is resonating, resonating deeply with our personal values and our personal desires. So you want to know if you're leading a strategic life? I'm going to ask you this. Are you living a life of purpose? Are you on the journey of purpose? If you are not, chances are that your life is not being strategic. Tomorrow, we're going to continue talking about these things. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.